Hello and welcome to this video on acyloin condensation. Acyloin condensation is the reaction between two molecules of an ester to yield an alpha hydroxy ketone in the presence of metal like sodium. So what happens is you have an ester group and let this be R1 and this be R2 and in the presence of sodium metal followed by hydrolysis two mole of this are going to condense and we get what is called as an alpha hydroxy ketone this is an alpha hydroxy ketone as you can see both these R's are the R1 okay so OR2 is something which leaves the molecule and this is an alpha hydroxy ketone because this is the ketone part functional group this is a carbon adjacent to that that is alpha carbon and that is a hydroxyl part here so this is an alpha hydroxy ketone ester with sodium giving you alpha hydroxy ketone so let's understand uh, what this reaction is all about acyloin condensation is a reductive coupling of two carboxylic acid esters using metallic sodium to yield an alpha hydroxy ketone which we also call as acyloin so these are the two molecules of an ester sodium followed by hydrolysis we get alpha hydroxy ketone and you can see that OR2 has gone now this reaction occurs uh, more rapidly and more successfully if the R1 part the part this one is aliphatic and inert when I say inert I mean to say that it is not capable of reacting with sodium or water for that matter so the reaction is most successful when R is aliphatic and inert we perform the reaction in the presence of a non-polar solvent and a protic solvent in fact a protic is a primary requirement more than non-polar and it also needs to have a high boiling point a protic because if you use a protic solvent the ester becomes an alcohol it becomes this r1 it becomes a primary alcohol that is a reduction of ester to alcohol if you use a polar solvent like an alcohol or water for that matter uh, so we need a aprotic solvent and high boiling because this re this reaction requires a lot of heat and we don't want uh, the solvent to go away while heating so we need a high boiling solvent so if the polar solvent and a protic solvent is used then we have the reduction of esters to alcohol which is called the bovol blank reduction uh, which we will talk about in a separate video so let's understand the mechanism uh, sodium atom gets oxidized to yield sodium ion and electron and as we can see from the ratio we use four mole of sodium for every two mole of the ester so just imagine that we're getting four sodium ions and four electrons from four sodium atoms then we have the ester on which the electron one of the electron will attack the carbon and the pi bond shifts to O and we get what is called as an anion, an anion radical this is an anion radical radical and anion together and two such anion radicals are going to condense they're going to combine they're going to join at the carbon because the carbon is the radical part and we get a dianion and remember the negative charge on this is being stabilized by Na plus which I'm not showing right now now the minus on one of the oxygens is going to come back and OR2 is going to leave because O is electronegative it can stabilize the negative charge and therefore you get a ketone part and the same thing is repeated again and we get a diketone now I'm going to get two more electrons attacking the two carbon atoms one by one I'm showing them together this happens one by one and we get a dianine and a di radical the two unpaired electrons are going to combine the two radicals are going to combine to form a double bond and the presence of water I get H also attaching to the O negative and this as you can see is an enol it will tautomerize yielding one of the OH as a ketone and I get an alpha hydroxy ketone here now depending on the nature of the R the steric factor and the ring possibility a diester 
can even undergo intramolecular cyclization over intermolecular condensation. So depending on the ring size and steric properties, the acyloin condensation of diesters favors intramolecular cyclization over intramolecular polymerization. So if I have a diester like this, then what will eventually happen is as you can see in this reaction, the two carbon atoms, the ester carbon atoms, they are going to combine. As you can see, this one combines with this one. So these two carbon atoms are going to combine here and you will get an alpha hydroxy ketone, which is intramolecular reaction. Therefore, this is acyloin condensation. Thank you.